Do you think Tom Brady's done? No, I don't. You know why? He could have told the entire planet when he was on with Jim Gray that I am done unequivocally. And I think if you cut Tom Brady in half, Dan, what's going to ooze out of him is a world-class <laughs> competitor. And you're a great dad. I like to think I'm a good dad. You could take your kids to school and that's all well and good. But <laughs> it's Tom Brady. Like how many times can you take the garbage out to the end of the driveway? Right. I mean, even as long of a driveway as he has, like at some point, right. I, guys still play at a high level. How do you pursue Tom Brady if you're the Niners? Oh, that's easy. I am relentless. I am saying this is about your legacy. This is your hometown. And we'll talk to Tampa Bay. You tell them that you're not going to play there. I live this, unfortunately, because what happened was Favre was like, look, I want to play one more year, and I don't want to play here anymore. It worked out for us at the Jets because we had just hired Rex Ryan. We wanted to draft somebody to build with Rex. It, we, we got fortunate. It worked out. We drafted Sanchez, won a whole bunch of games together. But if I was the 49ers, I would call up Joel Glazer, the owner of the Buccaneers, and just say, hey, he's not playing there anymore. We, we want to sign him for you know one more year, and we'll give you something. Because if not, he's just going to rot away on your reserve retired list. So why not get at least something for him? And then at the right time, have Tom put some pressure on. And that could be more of a July conversation, to be candid. Yeah, but it, you know, Bruce Arian said it's bad for business if all of a sudden you're letting Tom kind of dictate what goes on here. Yeah, what's worse for business, Bruce, is if you get nothing for a guy that says he wants to play, but he just wants to play for his hometown. So um, it could get really sticky. And again, I actually lived it, Dan. I thought through those machinations of like, we may tell Brett he can't go anyplace else. But I was just thinking like, at the end of the day, if the guy doesn't want to be there, you're really stopping progress of your own organization. So at some point, cut your losses, get what you can and move on. Because at some point, either Kyle Trask or Blaine Gabbert, someone's going to be the guy for them in Tampa Bay. And if Tom wakes up on July 4th and said, hey, you know, th these carpools are a little bit too much for me and uh, I want to play for my hometown, I think it'd be hard for Tampa to stop that.